says, this seems to argue that our stable environment has made us less able to adapt. I think the climate yeah. environment. Yeah. Uh, will the coming changes in climate increase our uh, SW, STWM, short term? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting question. As Clearly, a culture, right? There, there is so is climate change good or bad for us in terms of innovation? In terms of innovation, let me answer it this way. I think it is the fact that there was a continual demand for change, which during the Pleistocene, Apart from the biological factors, but I'm now talking towards the end of the Pleistocene when SCWM was no longer the actual limiting factor, has kept people on their toes permanently changing. And I think the big difference where we are now faced with is that we have invested so much that we can't change so easily anymore. And so that we can only innovate within the structure that we have created for ourselves. And that way we actually go from one technology to the next and we aggravate in the longer term the situation without being able to say, okay, let's break, and let's do something else. And so I would argue that, now to answer your final question, is climate change good or bad for us? I don't think it's bad for humanity. I think it's bad for our societies and our social structures. I think we will survive, I think we will find solutions for these problems, but there's going to be a huge amount of collateral damage. Was the fall of the Roman Empire a solution? No, it is. Mm -hmm. It's not a solution, it's not a problem. What happened is people moved away from the cities, mm -hmm. went rural, and survived that way. That's part of what interests me about that, is Rome fell, all the cities in Europe fell. No. What happened ah. is that after the 6th century, the backbone of the highly evolved urban system went, I don't know how many energy levels down and mm -hmm. how many demographic levels down, mm -hmm. but it actually remained in function. It was taken over by the church. Much lower population, yes. Much lower population, right. like a tenth or even less. What happened, though, is that the whole <laughs> rural situation completely collapsed. Right. And, what and we the agriculture see, went down along with the arches. Everything, and a lot of know-how was lost. So uh, Ceramic know-how, glass know-how, a whole bunch of know-how was lost. And what we see then is that from the 10th century, that builds itself up again, but in mm. different ways. Right. What we see is that the rural settlement pattern from the 10th century has nothing to do with the earlier, the Roman one, because people think differently about their landscape.